I uh, figured out the sound problem and it was uh, the first tube I changed, the detector tube, and I rarely ever really run into tubes that are completely screwed up, but this one was, and I want to kind of show a change that I'm just going to yank it here. And I have an old one here that was in the box of parts that came with the set. The guy that the guy that owned the set kept every single part and tube. And the tube that he had in there was a uh, was a realistic lifetime tube. And you can hear the difference. Real brave. And now Sharon's comfortable because she's wearing the Milana bra. This is so comfortable. I swear, you really don't know you're wearing it. Um. The girls are standing tall. And Sue is unsupported and uncomfortable. Guaranteed for life gold clad. No, what it's doing here, Han, look at this, Sue. It's trenching you. Terrible. Physical mishandling. Replacement at no cost, except shipping charges. Custom manufactured for Radio Shack, and it's made in Japan. And it was the bad one. And here's the uh, here's the box of parts that came with this set. And he, uh, the owner, obviously liked. Uh, the owner obviously liked realistic lifetime tubes. Here's the here's the colorama RCA warranty card. Some uh, and I want to show real quick how I aligned this. So what I did was. Using direct TV, my shoulders. turn the volume all the way up. First thing I usually want to do when I get him is get changed, get my bra off. I, this one I can wear. Uh, Whether your issue is comfort, on here, lift, or support, go to the guide. The will work for you. Well, we've seen big girls. Then what I did. Girls. We've seen lots of girls today, and it's because of you, Stella Riches. You've made all the girls comfortable. <laughs> well, thank you for that. Was I pulled the satellite out of the back of the... So all I have on the screen right now is just just the menu with no signal because I got the satellite on the roof disconnected. What I did is I went through and I just aligned all of these for minimum buzz. So that's it. I just did the three of these for minimum buzz, and I got a good, good sound now. So, just thought I would share that. One of the other issues I'm having with this is the chroma oscillator doesn't want to start very well, and we saw that uh, when we were working on it, where the color would work sometimes and it wouldn't. And of course, this is the chroma oscillator tube right here. It's a 6GH8, and it usually has this uh, shield over it. And I'm going to slide the shield over it and let you look at uh, what the shield does to it. So that's I'm sliding the shield over. You can see what it does. <coughs> And uh, I've been trying different 6GH8s. I'm going to pull it out. So that one works. Let's try this one. These all test good. Or they all test in the green. <clears throat> Stuck another one in there. It's warming up. Regular show. All new episodes.
Monday night at 8, 7 central, only on Cartoon Network. It's amazing that quite a few of them just won't even start. They just... Okay, that one's a flat liner. Let's try another one. Oh. Okay. Plugging it in right there, warming up. And the notch up from the Wagner Char King Superior is the Char King Imperial. Wagner's a fantastic company. They're based right over in El Paso, so they've got American ingenuity and Texas craftsmanship built right yeah, in. Yeah, I know. So look at that, and now what I'm going to do is stick a brand new 6, that's me touching it right there, I'm going to stick a brand new 6KE8 in there, which is my kind of preferred replacement for the 6GH8. So this is a 6KE8. Look at that sucker go. Twice the output. That's a 6KE8. Let me try another 6GH8. It's another 6GHA. That one's pretty good. It's almost... Uh, Okay, here's another 6GH8. Thank you for choosing Strickland Propane. Happy anniversary, Shug. Wingo, a love tub. There Come on, wake up. Believe me when I tell you, that was the wildest water heater repair I've done in my entire life. Hank, you know what that can-do attitude of yours does to me. It is Tuesday night. Sorry, Peggy. My mind's somewhere else. In a steaming tub of cocaine powered relaxation. These six GH8s are a pain in the ass. Okay, I want to take a quick minute to demonstrate the kind of pointlessness of testing tubes, and this is why I hardly ever do it. We got three tubes here you can see. We got this is the buzzomatic tube. This is just a used Sylvania 6HZ6, and this is a brand new out of the box General Electric. So we'll start with the GE, and the minimum on this is 21, so that's measuring 30. Okay. Next, we will go to the used. Sylvania that works and has good audio in the 
TV. Give it a You can see it actually tests a little bit better than the brand new GE tube. Okay. Now this is the Buzzomatic detector. You could tell by how much dirt's on top of it. can see it tests about the same as the GE tube, the brand new one. Okay, let's go to our next tube tester. Okay, so here's the next tube tester and this is this is a great tube tester because it will test anything ever made pretty much. So that's the GE tube we can check for grid emission which we have none so we're a little bit over a hundred there okay now we'll go to the used Sylvania tube Same thing, over a hundred. No grid emission. Okay, now here's the Buzzomatic realistic lifetime tube that had no audio. No grid emission. Let's do shorts on this. No shorts. Test good here. Okay, this is a Hickox 799. And if there was any one tube tester that was kind of specifically designed to test TV tubes, um, for late 60s TVs it would be this thing. So I'm gonna the tube goes down in this corner and the meters up in that corner so I'm gonna put the camera on the meter. Okay so we'll start with the brand new GE tube. Getting almost 800. Next we'll go to the used Sylvania tube. It's a little bit weaker. It's about 650. And next we'll go to our Buzzomatic uh, realistic tube. Look at that. Let's play with this a little bit. So 
So this is the sharp cutoff pentode that just pegs the meter. So let's crank the bias up. Let's see, so the cutoff point is between 30 and 35. We can also see, can also bump this down a notch and check for what they call gas, which is just grid emissions, and it has none. So the cutoff point on this tube, this is the one that tests really good, but buzzes, no audio, just buzzing is between 30 and 35. Okay, let's go back to the Sylvania. The used Sylvania tube that works good. Cutoff setting is supposed to be 31. Give it a second to warm up. So there's. So the Sylvania is the same thing. The cutoff is between um, 30 and 35. So the realistic, even though it does not work in the TV, tests good. Tests a little bit stronger, but tests good on three excellent top of the line tube testers. So this is why. Substitution is the best test for tubes. Tube testers are, I mean, they'll tell you if they're weak, but they won't actually diagnose problems and they could really lead you into spending a lot of time when the problem is actually a tube that tests good. So don't put too much weight in tube testers and testing tubes. If you're going to spend the money, you'd be better to buy a extra set and substitute rather than spend the money on a tube tester.